Hi everybody, this is Lori from Lou's Antiques and Collectibles and we're traveling. We're going up north to Mackinac City and we're also going to the Sioux Locks. So here we are. We stayed this time at Mackinac City and this is uh, the campground that we typically stay at. It's called Mackinac Mill Creek and it is beautiful as you can see. It is on a huge peninsula and we typically get a site on the bridge view where we can be really close to the water but you have to make reservations super early to do this if you want to stay there um, otherwise there's lots of spots within but we love looking at the water every night so we're heading out here and here is uh, another part of the peninsula that the campground is on this is the swim beach and we are on more of the rocky side of the beach but there is beautiful views anywhere you go with this park and if you like what you're seeing make sure you like ring the bell and subscribe to our channel so here's the beautiful lake where we were so today we're heading up to the Sioux locks and no matter what we do on vacation we always do a little bit of junkin so we're going to head up there to the salvation army and see what we can find and of course check out the Sioux locks while we're there also and watch the boats for a while so this was the summer of 2021 and here's a picture of one of the boats that we've seen at the Sioux Locks. Beautiful. I could, spend, I could spend a lot of time up there. I love it up there. And here we are at the Salvation Army. And this is in Sault Ste. Marie. And there's quite a few little resale shops here, but we decided to go here to see what they had. So they have lots of dishware and uh, glassware and things of that nature that we typically see. Ooh, a piece of Westmoreland. Oh, I have to pick that up. That's the panel grape pattern. Nice piece of glass. So I definitely picked up on that one. You never know what you're gonna find at these stores, especially when you're in different towns. It's kind of fun. So there's another panel grape pa pattern, but that one wasn't the Westmoreland glass. That's a little bit uh, different company. So we're looking here through the smalls and a uh, nice teapot that I took a look at, um, but the price was a little, too high for me so we went over to furniture and suitcases I like to look for old suitcases because I use those in my displays when I do shows didn't see anything that would work lots of nice little cocktail tables and end tables but nothing that uh, suited what I was looking for a little bit too modern and they have those laminate tops are very hard to paint if you want to paint those kind of tables I'm sure other people have found a way to do it so but I'm not very skilled at that this was interesting I wasn't sure if it was pewter or what it was. So I did pick up on this. I believe it was about $3. And I thought and it had natural stones in there, which was kind of interesting. Oh, I take that back. It was $2. So, but the markings were unusual. So I definitely wanted to see what that was. When I got home, it wasn't clear still what it was. But regardless, it still was a neat find. They had a great book sale. So 25 cents each or 10 for a dollar. You can't beat that. A lot of modern books, which I'm not interested in. This was a nice old book, but it looked like it had some mildew in it. So I didn't want to really mess with that. So I'm primarily looking for older books. So we'll see what we can find here. Oh, there's an older one on the top. And what I look for when I look for books is I look for the copyright and to see if it's a first edition. A lot of older books, if they're a first edition, are worth much more. So I always check the date and to see uh, if it was that. And this one, particular one, was not. So I passed on that. It's pretty hard to find those. You really have to look through a lot of them. There's some college books and things of that nature that are not really worth anything to me. I'm sure they were when the people were in college. <laughs> but that's not what I'm looking for and lots of how-to books and things of that nature. They had a big uh, area of records. Records I'm not really skilled at. I don't know, unless they're blatantly obvious, like the Beatles or something of that nature, then otherwise I really don't know. Um, but I do look for old packages and sometimes I just buy them because the graphics are so good. Like this one here, the graphics were so neat on there. But, uh, Typically, I'll look them up on my phone to see if they have any value. 
And it's good to always check the inside. You want to make sure all the records are there and they are the right records because often people will put different records within these packages that have nothing to do with what it says on the outside. So always good to check. And here's another one. That was kind of interesting, kind of a neat graphic on the front. And quite a few records in the inside of that one, but not necessarily real valuable. So even though I looked at them all, I ended up passing on those. There are people that are much more skilled with buying records than I am. It just hasn't been what I typically buy. I typically buy more jewelry and porcelain and glass pieces and things of that nature. So here's some music. Now sometimes I buy this music to uh, make things with. If I find really old music, it's not necessarily really valuable, but sometimes I'll make roses with it or I'll decoupage it on something else. So I always tend to look at the old music. Here's some nice old linens here. Reasonable prices too, mixed in with a lot of things that are not that valuable. Of course, I saw something shiny. Gotta check that out, but it was modern. <laughs> Lastly, I looked at some purses. Um, didn't find anything real, really old there, but still a lot of fun. So this was the Salvation Army in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Great fun. We always go junk and when we're on vacation. Thanks, folks.